it has come to my notice and attention that several junior officers, mostly drivers, uh, secretaries, and even casuals in Vega County are now being forced to pay huge sums of money which was put in their accounts as interests, which was then given to other senior officers without their knowledge that this money would be accounted for one day. I want to remind the public and all members of staff in Vega County that on 26 June 2018, I wrote to the Chief Officer of Finance and gave a copy to the Governor notifying them of this anomaly that huge sums of money was being put in junior officers' accounts, money which would then be withdrawn and given to senior officers, and yet the names in the accounts office would read that the money had been given to the junior officers. This money included money meant for Vega United and other personal uses of senior officers. And in some cases, names were just being typed, but the, the secretaries, drivers, and other junior officers were being used to channel this money from the treasury to the, to, to the respective officers' accounts. Now, I informed the governor, he did not take interest in it. But again, on 12th July 2018, I reminded the governor through a confidential letter to him that there was an anomaly in the finance department and that money was being withdrawn from the treasury and put in junior officers' accounts, which would then be taken by his senior officers and including his own office. I reminded him that unless this was checked, a time would come when these junior officers would be able to account for money that they never used. And the governor seemed to have understood what I was saying as exemplified by a letter he wrote to me myself, implicating me in such a scandal, a letter which was dated 14th November 2018, in which he said that I had failed to account for 7.3 million, which money he was saying had been given to me through Mr. Bongo's account. At much, unfortunately for him, this money never came to me. When Abongo came to me, I reminded him to take this money to the account of the MCS to which the money was meant to go. So when the governor wrote to me, he did not know that I had noted that error and I was noted to be, to be dragged into the mud. But what is more annoying now is that several officers, and fairly junior officers, are paying huge sums of money, ranging from 3 million, 2 million, 1.8 million, and to an extent where these fellows now are in serious depression. I know of drivers who are earning zero and are supposed to pay this money for close to 112 months, implying that throughout their working life in Vihiga County, they would never earn. These people are families, the governor knew what was going on, and unless he is a direct beneficiary of this anomaly, I'm informing him through writing tomorrow that unless he stops this and refunds all this money to the junior officers, I'm taking up the case with him to court so that we trace the money, who requested for this money, who decided that the money be put in these junior officers' accounts, who used the money, and who therefore was supposed to account for the money. I want to put the governor on notice that within 14 days from tomorrow, I'm heading to court because it's well documented on how government money can be advanced to officers. I'll want to know who was the author, authorizing officer who authorized this money to be put in this officer's account, in this junior officer's account. But again, I want to inform the general public that a lot of your sons and daughters who are working in Vega County in fairly junior offices are going through stressful moments paying for money that they never used. In some cases, 10, 20 million was put in this officer's account on withdrawing they gave to the chief officers to the chief of staff, to the governor himself, in return to about 2,000 shillings, as I thank, thank you for having used the accounts. 